Here we go. Today's journey is to Pride Rock. It is the Lion King, the 1994 animated edition. And I just love this movie so much. It opens with that beautiful scene of all the animals coming out into the sun, basically grateful for the birth of Simba. And then it does the whole circle of life thing. And the Lion King logo comes. And one of the funniest, great scenes happens at the beginning of the movie when Mufasa and Sarabi are sleeping. And they're arguing about uh, your son is awake. And Mufasa says, before sunrise, he's your son. And Simba's getting mad. He's like, Dad, you promised. He's like, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. And that's just one of my favorite cute little scenes in this movie. As well, we have the pouncing scene with Zazu as he's doing the uh, morning report. And Mufasa tells him to turn around as he's teaching Simba a lesson. And he's like, pouncing. And yeah, so that's all well and good. And then we have the introduction of Scar, who's about to chow down on some lunch. And him and Mufasa get into a bit of a tiff. But this is good because it sets up right away at the beginning that Scar is the villain of the movie. Even if they don't implicitly say it. As he's like, as Mufasa takes him as a challenger. And he says, I wouldn't dream of challenging you. And so this goes back and forth. And then Simba has his, his friend named Nala, and they want to sneak away and go into this elephant graveyard that Scar has told Simba about, which is actually where the hyenas, Scar's henchmen, live. But he tells them it's an elephant graveyard. So they ask their parents if they can go, and there's this cute scene where they both have the big smiles, and they say, please. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those movies. And so they do the I just can't wait to be king number to help get rid of Zazu. And then they're arguing. And then there's a point where they're wrestling. And they go, they fall into this elephant graveyard. And Simba goes, danger? I laugh in the face of danger. And then he hears the hyenas do it. And he gets scared. And he jumps behind Nala. And so the hyenas are chasing Simba and Nala and Zazu through this elephant graveyard. And by the way, if you enjoy this content, please like comment and subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell all that good stuff so anyway simba and nala get caught up in these bones and uh he tries to roar and they start laughing and they're like do it again do it again do it again and he's like Rawr. and then they're still laughing and then mufasa shows up and he uh takes out the hyenas obviously and then scar hatches a plan with the hyenas because after they disappoint scar he brings them some food and he's like there was it wasn't like they were alone you know they had mufasa and then they're like what are we supposed to do? take him out and then scar's like that's exactly what we're gonna do and then the whole be prepared number happens so they plan to create a stampede for the uh, buffaloes and to have simba sit on this rock with scar implements and then when the stampede is happening, Zazu's like, the herd is on the move. And then Scar shows up, stampede in the gorge. Simba's down there, which creates one of those most dramatic uh, scenes as far as the stampede in animated Disney history. If you can think of a better one, please leave it in the comments. But I think it's pretty great. And, uh, you know, Simba, after Scar pushes his dad off the cliff, he's like, what do I do now? And Scar's like, run away, run away, and never return and then he sends the hyenas after him and they chase him away but timon and pumba then find simba out in the wilderness away from pride rock and they basically after simba says i could go for a zebra or a water buffalo or anything he's like owns like if you're gonna live like us you gotta learn to eat like us and he learns to live off grubs and everything and then they teach him the hakuna matata song which is one of the best songs in Disney history. Don't at me. And basically grows up as an adult. And one of the best scenes in this movie too. Is when they're sitting in the grass. And they're all telling the stories. And Pumbaa's actually the smart one. The the warthog and he says that this guy was like the million of miles of gas from millions of miles away and then simba says that somebody once told him that the kings of the great past were up there watching over them and they all kind of laugh at him and then we go back to pride rock where scar has announced that the hyenas and lions will live as one and he actually traps zazu the royal advisor in a little cage and 
they basically ravage the Pride Land, so Nala goes to ha- find help. And there's a real cute scene where she's ta- she's chasing Pumbaa, and he's like, she's trying to eat me. And then Simba jumps to protect him, and they realize it's Nala. Then they have the standard love scene, and the argument of them going back and forth on whether Simba's supposed to go home, because he doesn't think that's his life anymore. And eventually they go back and forth. And Simba gets upset because his father said that he'd always be there for him. And he runs into Rafiki, who teaches Simba the lesson of if it hurts, it hurts, but it's in the past. And, you know, Rafiki's kind of crazy. And then he convinces him to go home to Pride Rock. So Simba's on his way back, and Rafiki celebrates this fact. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like so more people can see this. And so Simba goes back, and he's kind of surveying the land with Nala and uh, Timon and Pumbaa. But he's like, what's your plan? And Simba's like, live bait. And he goes, hey, because Timon and Pumbaa know they're, they're doing the live bait thing. And Timon and Pumbaa do the hula and dress up in hula skirts. And with, while that's happening, Simba's gathering the lionesses. And the big battle for Pride Rock happens. And he finds Scar and again tries to manipulate Simba. And he says, what about your loyal subjects? Says they put it behind them. And Simba winds up in almost the same spot as his father, but he gets off the cliff, and so then it really breaks out, and he's chasing Scar around, and Scar ends up on the cliff, and he starts to blame the hyenas, and Simba wins the battle, basically, of Scar, because uh, he's like, yield, Scar, and you can run away and never return. He eventually gets knocked down into the hyena elephant graveyard, and he's like, my friends, and the hyenas were like, I thought he said we were the enemy. And then Simba takes his place amongst Pride Rock with Timon, Pumbaa, Fiki, and Nala, and he does the roar, and it kind of, it's a magical roar, I guess, that restores Pride Rock, and that's kind of how the movie ends. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And until next time, may your ego come from a place that keeps you humble. I'm Mo Money. Bomba out.